right guys we're doing another round with the uh, with the blaster and the braking system here so I have I'll, I'll catch you up here but I fabricated up a rear braking system from here mostly Home Depot parts we have the the rear brake coming off of OEM with a welded uh, flat piece of bar stock on here to a caliper uh, uh, and master cylinder sorry here came off a 2004 Raptor 660 cut a piece of metal put it in did a little zip tie ran the lines to this inch and a quarter bar stock and you can see how I did all that in a, another video then I found out I found a company uh, called Crone Tech so Crone Tech actually CNC's and manufacturers the parts so you don't have to go through all this customization so I bought a few of them I have a part here that should bolt on to the 88 to 02 carrier to hold the caliper so I don't need this so I'll get um, that done there also a mount that should go on to I think it's gonna mount well, maybe it's gonna mount this way hold this reservoir and then there's also a, uh, a CNC manufactured piece that can use the foot peg off of what I think is a warrior also an 03 to 06 blaster where I would mentioned before these foot pegs are at a 90 degree angle and you can't get a different peg because of where this mounting tab is you'd be bumping into the frame so there's an adapter I should be able to bolt on that moves the mounting point back here behind the frame and then I can use that foot pedal and I'll show you what that looks like from a warrior from a raptor to go all the way back here and really get that motion I'm looking for so if we go look at the parts here there we go there's the mounting bracket gonna go let's go see what this would look like this should bolt on something about like that there uh, this hole will go through my nerf bar hole lock in ultimately that's going to move this reservoir it goes roughly like that that's going to move this reservoir down and I'll mount it through these holes the way this is curled and bent here is going to make it hang on nice to the frame and then so there's that component all the mounting hardware is included I'm not sure what this tab and feed is for yet this may just be to hold your hydraulic line back on the swing arm not sure here's the foot peg adapter and I've got to figure out which way this goes but I believe I'm gonna go at the 90 degree here drop this down and back is that this will fit behind this foot peg here which pulls it off you know that uh, oh, what do we have full quarter inch so there uh, probably even more than that pull it off and still be able to my front of the nerfs will slip out so that'll be fine I'm gonna move this out so I might have to bend or or washer or put a longer screw to cover this distance in here I think it's gonna sit down low like that and then we'll have this area for the pedal go up and over mm, pedal 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 uh, this pile I think that's what I'm looking for maybe ah, I bet you it's this guy all right couple of pedals here this one's no good this is a cable pull pedal off of uh, a, a moto for 225 or 350 so it'd be a cable pull no good here I'll set that off to the side this pedal uh, you know there's a possibility I can use this depending on how the tab lines up this would go underneath the nerf on up which probably makes this a point of contact with the ground so I'm probably not going to go this route this you have to check me on this this might be the warrior pedal this has the the mount off at this different angle than 90 degrees like on the uh, 88 to 02 blaster so we have an adapter for this now 
that kicks this mount out and back. These pedals are easy to find on eBay. This is the over the top, so I don't have anything down low going underneath like this pedal that could be um, just getting buffed on the ground. So here's the thought is that we're going to use this pedal on the bracket. We got one more piece here. There we are. This is just a flat CNC. This should be the caliper mount. Looks to me as though it looks like we're going to sit on the caliper. The original carrier is probably going to mount here and the caliper is going to mount to these off the end. And you have some hardware that's included. Looks fairly heavy duty to mount to get the gap or the spacing right for the caliper. Let's look at this. This is the, the original carrier from an 88 to 02. This is what it looks like to me is that I'm going to bolt directly on here and then we're going to take this caliper actually from all the way back up here move it back up somewhere into this space and we'll use these spacers and bolts on here to set it up so it can get to the floating rotor. I think this is where I'm going to start today. There are rear brakes, they work, but they don't lock this rear end up. They definitely put the drag on. It's enough for me to set the front end down if I'm out uh, riding wheelies, but you can't lock it up. So if you're trying to ride a slow wheelie and you're right at that balance point, you just kind of fall off the back even when you've locked them up. So I'm hoping I can get this a lot tighter so I can just tap it and set things down. Uh, but I will get a link down in the description and I gotta say I am excited to have found this. Found it on the Blaster Forum. One of the moderators there put up the link for the website because I have been looking for somebody that was just doing some basic CNC fabrication for converting these brake systems uh, really for years and just couldn't find uh, anything. Alright, so there's the piece I fabricated just out of inch and a quarter stock to sit on the original carrier. And down below I've got a nut to take off. I've got to take this nut off here. I'd use this to keep the caliper from rotating. So we'll take this off. I'll end up taking this bar stock off in a moment. But let's get this all cleared out so we can try the, uh, the Chrome Tech solution here. Almost, but not quite. Can't, I can't mount on the outside of the carrier because we have this bolt coming through. All right, so here's a photo on the website. If you're able to see this, it has the spacers. Like that. And here, so that also makes me think again with those spacers, the idea to get over this component Put the spacers on, set it out there like so, and clear that gap. That might be the way to do this here. As I'm looking here, there's a couple of photos on the website on their section Customer Love that show a few folks that have installed, which kind of helps give an idea of orientation. And I, I think we're on to something. I think those spacers are going to set it off outside that carrier bolt to give us that clearance and tolerance we're looking for. Now we have the CTI logo looking up. This looks much more in line with what I'd expect for the caliper. Just see if we can finger tighten these things in and do a caliper fit up here. So what it looks like to me at this point, we're going to take the factory bracket off, which will leave us with a threaded hole here, threaded hole here. We're going to reuse these bolts. One's going to be the Allen on this side. This other one we're going to grab with a, oh boy, maybe a 12 mil to loosen up. So let me work on that for a little bit here. Having a little bit of a battle here to try and get this, uh, get these, the factory mount off this, this used caliper. So I just bolted a vise into a tree stump over here. When in doubt, I don't have a place to mount this in the shed, so ta-da, here we go. Ugh, future note <clears throat> to future Jimmy. 
grab a level stump so things aren't moving everywhere on you. Here's what we're fighting, trying to get the, the factory caliper mount off. We got this one up here, which you spin off with probably a 12 mil, rotates in. This one, I can rotate it on the mount, but I can't spin this in the caliper. This is seized up really crazy like. We're gonna try some heat here. All right, I may just junk this caliper. I'm rounding out my bolt. I've still got meat in there, but not a lot I can bang on. I can't get the factory plate off. Hit it with heat. And I hit it pretty good. I just melted the rubber grommets around here. So I'm gonna see what about getting one of these on Amazon. This is an 04 Raptor 660. So just bound up. And that's keeping me from putting on the brace in the back here. Can't bolt here until I can get the factory mount off. So I can look to get this mounted up. So let me uh, grab some wrenches and some hardware. Let's see what uh, this piece can look like. May as well go for it. We're not gonna be riding for a little bit here while we sort through everything with the caliper, so. There's a little piece that I fabricated up. Survey says. I think we're gonna go something like that. So I have a little bit of the original tab here. And it looks like this is designed to cut inside there. So I think I'm gonna be fine. And then I'll be able to bolt my Nerf on over this. Let's put a few pieces together here. I don't think those are going to do the trick. And that's what I have. So, I'll figure out what all these spacers are for. What are the long ones for? I'm going to reuse. other ones for now hmm can I do this with a nerf bar I know we're working backwards here So this is another left-hand side peg. This is what was on here before I started fabricating. Now, the idea, let me go grab the pedal. All right, so with the adapter component came a new uh, E-clip washer and longer foot peg bolts. That's gonna be handy because there's my original foot peg bolt and it wouldn't reach through you know, a peg and an adapter. So if I'm making the guess that CTI is going to stand up right here, makes me think that that adapter is going to sit something just like that. And just put some lithium grease in this one I pulled off. And now I see my pedal is uh, bent, of course. I think we would look to go something like that. What do we think here? I'm 
going to go with this pedal. pedal is probably super bent. There we go. All right, so I'm going to slow down a bit here. I've got the caliper coming in for the rear side. Ultimately, I have all three pieces from CTI kind of mocked in here, seeing how things are going to work. I've got a really tweaked out pedal, which I didn't catch. Uh, so I got to do something about that pedal. And ultimately, I'm going to sit down and think about how to do my, my Nerf bar here. I don't know how to do my Nerf bar. And, uh, or not my Nerf, but my heel guard on my Nerf bar. I want to have that working. So uh, I'm going to wait for some parts to come in. Then we'll come back around to it and we'll keep going. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic so far. All right. I have a new brake caliper. So today I should be able to take the factory mount off of this new brake caliper, bolt it up on the back, then I can bolt up the hydraulic line, then we're good there. Here, after I was mussing around with this for a while, I looked at the website, a few other photos, and I had the master cylinder mounted on the outside here. Really, that's, that's what I had done with what I had fabbed. Um, but when it was on the outside, you couldn't fit the Nerf on. Looking closer at photos on the Crone Tech website, putting it on this side, then you can bolt up your Nerf. All good there. The tabbed plate. Oh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Ah, yep, there it is. This guy. This tab plate. And these longer screws. Oh, and I'll need these for the hydraulics. The, this tab plate here goes on the back of the mount. This effectively will go like that and the long screws reach all the way through so you get a nice complete clamp on here. Now, so this pedal going over the top, this is a warrior pedal. Notice something here. The brake pedal goes straight back off of the mount because it goes straight back you're ultimately offset from the master cylinder which is what led me to think i would mount on the outside uh this is uh oh i have to double check myself but an m6 1.25 pitch bolt so with that i get some nice clean action there this pedal i'd shown before this one came off a 2004 raptor and i might put this on to see what it look like because you notice the offset here this pedal goes in when it bumps up against the mount point here that should force this in and line up this tab perfectly here the reason i'm not interested in this pedal is because this part here would have to go underneath the frame effectively making it the lowest point uh the, the lowest point and we only have whatever it is four five six inches of clearance here not an awful lot even lower back there, so maybe it's not quite the lowest point. I really want this if I don't have to, but this one's bent, sticking up. I might hit this with some heat, bend it down so it's not way above my boot. I'm going to finish this up as it sits like this so I can test it out, and then I'll give some thought to trying this other pedal. There we go. It can't reach my floating rotor. So here's tonight's challenge. These are the bolts that came with the kit. Uh, these are M8, one and a quarter pitch, probably 40 millimeter. I did have some bolts lying around that are 45 millimeter. So they just reach, just, but you know, not enough here. I'm not sure, but it's almost as though my axle isn't completely installed because my floating rotor won't close the distance here. I'll take this back off and show you real quick what the what that looks like. There you see it. I can't get it all the way off because I have my skid plate on here, but butts right up against the axle. Boom, right there. It looks like this could sit in there flush, but it isn't. And that is preventing me from getting the uh, the plate mounted. What the heck? So to figure this out and this spacing, loosen these nuts here, and then we have a whole scenario of what we can do to move this. Can we move it? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen these. I'm gonna make some measurements. I, what else am I gonna do, right? So I loosened these up. Looked at the you know the threads and everything. This this axle isn't going anywhere without a good deal of work. Option B: drop my skid, take off the tire, take off the rotor, grind this lip down. If I grind that lip down. I'll be able to set this up nice and tight. Why isn't it? Is the bearing here coming out? Anything like that? Hmm. Hmm. I have an option C here. So here's the original bolt. Looking at how this rotor sits, this rotor sitting on the outside of what I'll call its carrier here. What if I just pulled this rotor off and bolted it on this side? All right, guys, here we go. I couldn't put the rotor on the other side because it won't sit over the lip. So it, the rotor does sit on the outside here. It's the only way it can go. So instead of grinding, setting up on the bandsaw, I think I've got things clamped nice. And we're just gonna try and make a nice clean cut down here. Here we go. If I don't oil that, I'll be sorry. Alright guys, it's fall. I'm losing the light too fast. We got a nice smooth cut out of that. Wipe off some of the chunks. Hope that was the right move, but that looks nice. Survey says on here. Ah, look at that. Ah, almost. Let me get my rotor back on here. All right. Trimmed down. Rotor on. Looking more promising. Where to leave all my parts? All righty. Much better. After trimming, everything is lining up. Nice clamp down, rotors floating. Everything's floating on its rubber bushings here. That's what was all seized up on the other caliper. So I didn't get anywhere near as far as I thought. I thought I was gonna come out in 30 minutes, I'd have that together, but always an adventure. So yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow evening after work, we'll finish up. All right. All right, so we made it to the weekend. It's Saturday now, not a bad day, 55 degrees, poured rain last night. The rotor hub that I had was a rotor hub off an 03 to 06 blaster. They are slightly different than the hub off of an 88 to an 02. They're longer, they have that lip. So I ended up cutting that lip off, which effectively makes it an 88 02. If you go on eBay and you search for a bit, you'll find and be able to make the comparison between the two. So they were different. We are in a good place now to mount up the rest of this. So my first order of the day is going to be to get the lines on, get everything bled, see what the action looks like. I may play with a different foot peg here, see if I like that any better because I know this one's bent and I've got to get my skid back on. And then, then we're off and riding. Yeah, got everything assembled, bled my brake lines. Routed up through here and back on this point here. Routed a little bit of pressure up against the hose, but didn't pinch it off or anything. So we're we're okay there. Do have a little extra, so I zip tied to some of the old hangers on the frame here. A little bit of a pain to bleed it because I think I created some uh, <laughs> some air pockets. Here's the situation with my pedal. This pedal, the over the top pedal, straight back, flush up against the Chrome Tech bracket, and I made this here to be able to get at the master cylinder on the back side of the bracket you know as it should go so I can get my heel guard in when I press see I'm not all the way down there really romp on it to get it down but watch back here you see all that flex all that flex is coming on because of this linkage uh, because of that I don't think I could really actually lock the tire up because if I step on it I'll shift and flex everything whole plate so I am going to try 
this pedal, the 04 Raptor pedal underneath because the standoff moves the pedal bracket to the inside where this one, the standoff, moves it to the outside. I believe this bracket's gonna put my little tongue here perfectly in line so I get a very linear push on the master cylinder and not come at it from an angle that's causing that flex. All right, bust on the other pedal. Let me show you why. I could cut off, I could cut off a tab in the way here, but even if I were to do that, you see, I'm just not coming anywhere close to lining up to get this where it needs to be. So this 04 Raptor pedal isn't gonna do it. The closest option I have is this Warrior pedal. A little bent and tweaked. I'm actually gonna work on that before putting it back in. But I have that offset, which creates that flex. So I'm gonna keep looking. I gotta figure out what type of pedal uh, Crone Tech was using that has the offset that comes over the top. Somebody's gotta have it out there. I'm gonna put this back together after I bend and tweak it and we'll park it there for a bit. All right, we are officially now into October. And on a day like today where it's, you know, 70, 72 degrees and still, it's, uh, it's really beautiful up here. I wanted to get a different pedal. Um, yeah. Here we are. Here's the part number. And this is a Yamaha Blaster Gen 2. So this is a uh, 2003 to 2006 brake lever. This is when they had hydraulic brakes on the rear. There's the offset. Here's the pedal set off. What I want to do, put this pedal on and get rid of this linkage because I believe if I do that, I won't get the flex coming out of here. Well, there we go. Gen 2 pedal lines up perfectly. I haven't put the, the E-clip on the back there. Put a spring on. Look at that action. And no flex. Plenty of room to crank on it. So that's it. Uh, we're done. Took a little bit of, took a little more work than I was anticipating to figure out some of these things. Replace the caliper, uh, get the right pedals in, and just kind of figure out how to install this. So if you end up getting the kit, uh, this will save you a lot of time. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I'm glad I went down this route and redid it from what I had done before with the Home Depot parts. The Home Depot parts was great if you've got used parts lying around, you're just trying to get something and source it. Uh, I think if you look to do that, it'll get you on the right track, maybe for a few other adjustments. The big adjustment I learned from the previous videos doing that was on that rotor, that rotor hub that was from the 0306 as opposed to the hub that goes on the first gen blasters, the 88 to 02. That threw everything off and I didn't know that. Having discovered that and gone down this route uh, and had some experience doing this kind of bolting it on and fabbing, this, this is gonna work really well. So what we're left with here, we're left with a 2001 blaster that is fully equipped to rock and roll on the trails front and rear brakes yeah I do sometimes think that I may uh, pull the whole thing apart paint rebuild really clean it up but right now you, you've seen me romp on this thing trying to cross creeks uh, and, and some of that so let's uh let's ride for a while yeah all right hope it's helpful and uh, I'll leave links down in the description to things that I use, links to uh, Crone Tech parts, um, all of those things, where I got the, uh, the Gen 2 pedal, all that. So hope you enjoy. And if you have a blaster and you're looking for rear brakes, I hope this, uh, I hope this helps you out. Until next time.